We have so much to talk about. I'm so excited. Do my hair. I'm that excited. All right, guys. So here is where we left it. This is the in progress build, three gun build. Yeah, I'm starting to like how she's coming together. Not 100 percent there, but we're we're definitely getting there. So, well, today I'm really excited because uh, there's a couple new goodies on the channel. Last time you saw the roll punch kit. I really like this kit. This worked out very, very well. Not bad for like 40 bucks on Amazon. Highly recommend it. This was really nice. If anything, I wish I had some plastic punches. Maybe it does. No, those are all metal. I wish I had some plastic punches just for punching uh, like lock pins, things like that that are all plastic. Well, other than that, I really like this kit. That was last time. So what's this time? Oh, first of all, kitchen scale and i say new because well i've never had one but as you can tell i've used it a few times I'm trying to get used to it i'm not really going to be doing too many uh you know, trying to save ounces kind of videos but for the because i'm kind of just curious i'm gonna start weighing some stuff and then what i'm really excited for the lyman trigger pull gauge why did I buy this? Well, there is a particular reason coming up. I've always been curious how these work, how well they are, how easy are they to use, that kind of thing. But I've always wondered what these mill spec triggers are. And I've, I've heard ranges. So I decided, what the hell? I'll start pulling my own. Let's see what that does. I'm excited for that. Now we got some gun grease. Um, I have no particular brands or anything I really like, so I'm going to try this Hops 9 Black for the first time, and we'll see how that does. Just picked this up from Dunham's. And then the mailman brought some goodies. So what do we have? First up, Strike Industries, Blue Line, Ambi, Selector Switch. 60 degree and 90. I think I'm going to go with the 60. I used a 45 the other day, and that was really nice. So I'm going to try setting up for 60. So, here we go. Let's throw it in. Okay, right, so I'm pulling it apart, checking it out. There's no real instructions, but well, what I did notice is that one side of this has a slightly longer det detent section than there. So the longer one is going to be the 90. The shorter one is going to be the 60 degree. So that 60 degree is going to be the side that we put on the detent side over here. So... Now that we figure that one out, let's uh let's throw her in. Right. Oh man, there she is. Would you go Ambi? Um, I've never had Ambi, so I decided to go that route. Good and positive engagement though. I need to get broken in. You can tell it's only been hit like 20 times. But all in all, I really like the look. Mm. Now this is all bothering me. I, I don't want to do a full blue tube though. Maybe I'll do that extension. I don't know. But for right now, I think that is it for the strike uh, accessories. I think that's it. And all in all, I really like it. A little nicer than uh, the one that was in here. Going to 60 is nice. I kind of wish it was a 45 degree, but all in all, it's it's a lot nicer than having to go all the way to uh, 90. Because just trying to come back from 60 is a lot easier than uh, than 90. So, all in all, I like it. It's starting to come together. All right. Next up, Ooh. trigger pull gauge. Let's take a look. Oh, I already know somebody out there is going to get all butt hurt because I'm going to do this. So, let's measure this factory trigger. Four point twelve one. I don't think that's accurate because of how I'm holding it. Let's do that again. Hmm. 
411. Why does that seem lighter than it should be? I thought it was like six something. Five, four. Mm, gotta clear it. If I had three, that's closer to what I was originally getting. We'll do one more. So it, it's a hair over five pounds. That's what I'm getting. Yep, yeah, just a hair over five pounds. Now, why does that matter? A hair over five pounds? Because, oh, I'm excited. Rise Ironman, RA434. Three and a half pole. Three and a half pound pole, uh, single stage performance trigger. I'm excited for this one. I've never had an upgrade trigger. I've only used mil specs. I've never had an upgrade trigger. So this is dropping. Let's go ahead and throw it in. I'm excited for this one. All right, so we're gonna use a scale here for the first time. I wanna, I'm just curious, what's the difference in weight between mil spec trigger group and the drop-in Rise Arm in 434? Let's go check it. This is all the components of a mil spec group. Two and a half ounces. All right, let's flip over. Go to Rise Arm. Back to zero. Okay, and let's grab the sun screws for those. Two and a half ounces. Wow, how is that? That only weighs one ounce. Point two. Two point five. Well, they are the exact same weight. I honestly did not expect that. I thought this would be a little happier. Well, all right, cool. Let's throw it. And there she is. This is her flat face trigger. It's not quite flat, but uh, you get the idea. Drop in. Fit perfect. Um, only complaint I have is uh, the they're not anti-walk pins. You can see a little bit of the blue Loctite getting out. Uh, they're not anti-walk pins, but they're like... They're threaded bars that go all the way through. They don't sit flush. But then, you know, a little bit of movement. You'd think that they'd be a little small, a little shorter so that they sit, uh, they'd cinch tight on the receiver or snug up a little bit more. Look how much. It's on both of them. So yeah, they, I mean, they both Ooh. I don't know how much that's going to bother me. You know, I might have to replace this with something that sits a little snugger, but uh, for the most part, I like it. Looks really nice, though. Fits nice. Reset. Oh, there's almost no reset. I love that. Oh, I'm pissing somebody off. Hold on. And then reset again. Just a little bit here. And there is just no take up. Barely anything. So, let's throw it on the block and we'll uh, take a look at what the bolt is. Alright, so we bit our gauge out. Put her about the same spot and give her a slight pull. Three fifteen. So we'll do that again. Turn on 
which I pull clear back. Three eight, it's supposed to be three and a half, so that would be dead on. Three two. Oh, I'm pissing somebody off with this. Three, four, so it's just shy of three and a half pounds, I'd say. And uh, most likely that's based on where I'm pulling from. Can you turn this off? I don't know, it's just brand new for me. All right, so. Special thoughts, I like it. Boy, that's a, it's gonna be weird getting used to that. Let's, uh, let's throw it all together and see what we got. And there she is. You know, I know a lot of people are going to give me shit about the strike accessories and whatnot, but uh, I'll tell you what, this is going to be the nicest AR I've ever built. And that's saying something, because I've built a few of them, but uh, I've never really had one that had, you know, a, I've never had an upgraded trigger, I've never had ambi anything, I've never had nice colored parts. I mean, it's, typically I do go nickel boron for bolt groups, but... Just it's gonna be the most set up rifle I've ever had. Ooh, I like that. I'm excited to try that out. So Rise Armament, 434 trigger. There you go. I like it. Let's, I can't not wait to get this to the range. For those of you wondering, I got this from uh was it S P Outfitters out of Oklahoma? Uh, Family-owned place, but they have a really good coupon code. Use the code Rise on their website, and you can save a hell of a lot of money on, on just. I think it's any Rise trigger right now, and that's the reason I I went for this. It was only twenty dollars more than the uh, one hundred and forty, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go for this one because it's uh, a little nicer, twenty bucks more. So, coupon code Rise.